Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the cherry shrimp, Neocaridina davidi. Uh, the cherry shrimp is a uh, shrimp, a dwarf shrimp that originates from Taiwan in the many different, uh, in many different streams and ponds. Uh, some of those environments which exist even today. Uh, the wild ancestors are of course not uh, what we see today in today's offerings uh, when we when it comes to the cherry shrimp. Uh, the shrimp that we see today, the bright red uh, colored shrimp uh, and the various variations and grades thereof are a result of selective breeding. Now we're going to get into uh, behavior size, color, tank setup and so forth regarding the cherry shrimp. Cherry shrimp should be kept in groups of at least four to six individuals. Preferable is really 10 to 12. Um, males attain a length of about one inch or 2.5 centimeters. Uh, females can get up to an inch and a half or 3.75 centimeters. The color of a cherry shrimp really depends most on the grade. It can vary anywhere from uh, a lot of intense red spotting all the way up to a solid red color. Uh, the size of aquarium that you should be maintaining a group of 10 to 12 in is about 10 US gallons or 38 liters. The type of tank setup uh, can be anywhere from fairly simple, uh, a few smooth stones on uh, either a sand type substrate or a typical compressed soil plant type substrate like fluval stratum with some bits of driftwood and uh, really the setup is preferably kept under a lower to mid-level light uh, type condition uh, and therefore the types of plants you want to select are ones that are things like uh, are, are ones such as java fern, java moss, uh, anubias for example. Those are all good choices for, for a shrimp tank. An important point to note about a shrimp aquarium is that it really should be well sealed. Don't allow for any uh, openings, even small ones, are not acceptable. Shrimp are very adept at climbing and it's, it's a very unfortunate way to, to lose a shrimp, uh, especially a nice one if it climbs out. Um, another important point, of course, is filtration when it comes to the shrimp aquarium. Uh, an ideal type of filter is an air-driven sponge filter. They do provide a uh, growth of bioflora on the surface, which the shrimp will actively feed on. Um, if you are going to use some kind of compartmentalized type power filtration, then make sure that the inlet is well protected with a foam uh, block or, or some kind of pad, uh, either on the inside or the outside of the grill, uh, as the shrimp will potentially get stuck there or get inhaled. So uh, pay attention to that. The spo air driven sponge filter is uh, ultimately 100% safe for shrimp. Another thing to consider is the fact that cherry shrimp are really very good scavengers and excellent algae eaters, which is why you often see them in uh, planted aquascapes. Now, uh, you may want to consider actually positioning the tank so that it gets a couple of hours of natural daylight every day. This will encourage some of the nice soft green algae to grow, uh, which your shrimp will actively feed on. When it comes to the question of maintaining fish with shrimp, obviously you want to make sure that they're, you know, micro type species of uh, danios, rasboras, tetras, for example. Only the very small species that are non-boisterous, uh, non-aggressive, uh, some of the dwarf quarries uh, could be kept with them as well. They typically make okay tank mates, but bear in mind you're not going to see baby shrimp even with those guys in the tank. So if your goal is to propagate a large colony of shrimp, they really need to be kept on their own. When it comes to water conditions for your shrimp, uh, really clear, softer uh, type water conditions are best. Uh, low to medium current and uh, do regular small water changes on the tank because good water quality is very important for them. Temperature can range anywhere from about uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, the pH range will be, can range anywhere from 6.5 to 8, but around neutral is typically best. And when it comes to degrees of hardness, 2 to 12 is about the right range. When it comes to feeding dwarf shrimp, such as a cherry shrimp, you want to make sure that you're using a good micro pellet as a basic food. Something like bug bites, uh, microgranules is an excellent food. What's important to look for 
uh, is a source of iodine as well as calcium and vitamin D. These are all very important for healthy molting, which healthy shrimp will be doing on a regular basis as they grow. Uh, also recommended are things such as blanched, uh, blanched uh, spinach or other vegetables that can be put in and allow the shrimp to nibble on throughout the day. You know, bear in mind when you're feeding these shrimp, they are very, very small. And after a couple of hours, if there is any food remaining, especially prepared foods that have multiple ingredients in them, uh, we would suggest uh, siphoning them out uh, to remove, you know, to remove any further source of uh, degradation. In summary, uh, the cherry shrimp is a beautifully colored species of Neocardina. Uh, it is definitely one of our favorites. It's very versatile given the fact that it can do well flourish in a fully planted aquascape. Uh, can be kept with uh, very small peaceful fish and it is a real standout. Some of the beautiful uh, colors that exist in these dwarf shrimp species or variants are absolutely stunning and uh, being a peaceful, they are uh, easy to keep and really rewarding. So that's it, everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in to the Species Spotlight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Until the next time.